Hey, 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 everybody out there in YouTube land. You know what I hate to... I, I'm just going to have to address something here. I, I, I think it's a little ridiculous that I'd have to address this in this way, but uh, it is what, what it is. And, man, it, it's, it's unbelievable how people can get things so easily twisted. We all know what's going on. There's a cause that's going on right in the trucking industry right now to get some relief for truck drivers. You know, and, and all this uh, legislation that's going on with stimulus and bailouts and all these things, the one thing that's being missed is the truck driver. The truck driver. Not just owner operators, but all truck drivers, owner operators, lease operators, company drivers, they've all paid a price through this. Some through economics, some losing their jobs, some losing their way of life, all different ways. Even those, and I'm going to tell you, uh, me personally, financially, haven't been affected. Uh, in April, I ran 11,500 miles, and I'm a company driver. me personally, financially unaffected. But this isn't about me. This is about our industry. This is about trucking. And, and this is a deal. We all have to stand together. Now, I was involved a, a little bit, very minutely little bit, with uh, kind of how this group, you know, when they were coming together and I was supporting it and all that type of stuff. And, and I was active in the group. I had a whole lot of things going on. The other day I went 36 hours without sleep. Too many irons in the fire. I had already started another cause, all right, which is a long-term solution for us in trucking. You know, they say you can't unionize the trucking. You can't get two, more than two truckers to agree on anything. Uh, and, and this is what happens. Every once in a while, a voice stands up out of the crowd. You hear something speak uh, intelligently uh, on, on a topic. And uh, they get the emotional backing of the people. The problem is, is every time that that one voice stands up, you're having to build the momentum and build the podium for them to stand on from scratch. And, and that's the problem. That's why you never get a voice. That's re and because what happens when it gets involved in groupthink is too many people want to be chief. Too many people want to say, oh, look at me. I got to have the glory. I got to stand out in front. It's got to be my thing. You know, as long as you keep saying my, you're never going to have shit. If you start looking at what you can do for your fellow man, uh, you're going to be start, you're going to be rewarded. But as long as you're looking at yourself, you're never going to have anything. You're just not. You got to look at what you can do for the whole. Now, uh, I, I said I, I'm working on a project. There, and, and I think I've even spoken to it. I mean, I can put the name out there. I own the domain. I'm copyrighted. I've got attorneys involved in it and everything. I'm well protected, I can tell you. It's called the PTA, the Professional Truckers of America. And... Uh, it, it's a supportive organization for truck drivers. And yes, it, it's got a website. I've got an IT guy. I've hired people full time. And, and I meet with them first thing in the morning. And I meet with them at the end of every day. And I've got a full time staff on board that I'm paying their salaries. Follow, follow me with this. I'm paying other people's salaries. To, to make this come true. And I want it to be a good thing. I want it to be done professionally. 
And when I get it all put together, you want to know what I'm going to do with it? I'm going to give it to all truckers. It's going to be for truckers, of truckers, by truckers. Uh, you guys are, are going to run it and decide what direction and everything that you take it. Uh, I'm just going to build the platform. That, that being said, that's one thing. It takes a while to put things together. Uh, there's tools and software that are being written for that that will take months in development. Hopefully we'll have a shell up here fairly shortly. The shell will be up, but all the tools won't be operational. Now, we can start making that grow and we can do that together. But in the process of this, I heard a voice, and there was more, I wasn't the only one that was moved this way. Spectre, late at night one night, at about midnight, gets on YouTube and uh, starts talking about that he has a solution to the fact that we as truck drivers have been missed out on. Hold on here. Hey there, Jarhead. I said, hey, Jarhead. <laughs> you know only Jarheads can call Jarheads Jarheads, right? God bless you, brother. Yeah, you too, brother. You too. <laughs> Have a good night, man. You too. I wonder why that guy was walking down in between me. He, uh, there was a flatbedder that was parked there. I got my curtains drawn. I couldn't see it. The guy that went walking in between our trucks here, and we're back here on Party Row. He goes walking through our trucks here, and I'm going, where the hell is that guy going? The flatbedder is gone. It's somebody else over there. Now the jarhead. Do you hear that? Only jarheads can call jarheads jarheads. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so I've been real busy. You know, I'm doing my job, I'm out here playing company driver, and I'm running my face off, all right? Um, spending time in every waking moment and idea and power I can to get this PTA uh, up and running and, and starting because, hey, what can I say? I'm stupid with that. I, I'm absolutely crazy that I think that I can change the world. Uh, there's a quote, I, I say it to myself every day, every day. Those that are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones that do. I, I'm not anything special. Uh, I, I'm really not. Um, I, I believe in what Spectre is doing. He's absolutely dead on target. All right. Now, there's a lot of things about government and the, where our country is going and what's going on with this COVID-19. You've got all these different distractions that can split you up and take you different ways. But the fact of it is you've got one shot. And right now, the voice is Spectre. And uh, this TST-150, that's what we all need to come together and stay on track with that and support that. Now, once you get the audience, once you get on the floor of Congress, uh, after you get the ball rolling, after you've got them to say, yeah, we need to do something for the truck driving, that's when you can start negotiating. That's when you start making the deal. That's when you start making concessions. You got to get on the floor first. That should be your point. Not about who does this and what does that. I don't care about any of that. The reason why I stepped out of the planning is because whenever you're doing a group thing, uh, you know, this person doesn't show up for this. You got to wait for this person. And then this, this has to take place before you can do these. These are all organizational things that take time and they take effort. And there needs to be a few that are in that. Uh, you don't need me in there right now to do that. Uh, I've already got my hands full over here. 
That doesn't mean I don't support your cause. I 100% support your cause. I'm going to listen to everybody. Uh, I see you people slinging darts at each other and throwing mud on each other. It, it's uncalled for. It, it, that's not productive. It's just not. Quit looking at yourselves and start looking at the whole picture. You got 3.5 million truck drivers out here. You think somebody gives a rat's ass about you, the individual? No. Just like our founding father said, you either stand united or you'll hang separately. If you don't get it together and get behind that one voice, uh, this cause isn't going to go anywhere. You got a window open right now. You got a window open. They've already got their foot in front of a congressman. They've already got the attention. They've already got people saying that they're willing to talk. They want to hear and they want to help. And while you've got that window open, that door open, you better step through it and you better take advantage of that right now. Uh, we can talk about saving the world, saving the industry as a whole. You know, the thing that I'm doing and everything. These things will come to fruition in time. But this one little thing right now, and it's not a little thing, TST-150. That's what you need to get behind all together right now. I talked to another small fleet owner last night. See, that's what I mean. Just because I'm not working every minute in your little group, that doesn't mean I, didn't, I don't support your cause. I 100% do. And the reason why I do is because of stories just like this one. Last night, I was talking to a guy that was had a small fleet. He had nine trucks. And because of what the market has done and what has happened over the last 60 days, it's in the last couple of days he had to make the decision to park all of his trucks. Lay off all of his drivers can't afford to run them can't afford to run the truck and pay the drivers also and if you can't do both you can't do either so him and a partner they still got two trucks running but nine other drivers are without a job that, that's where we're at folks I want everybody to be successful. I want everybody to win. And while they're out there dolling out money, propping up this and propping up that, trying to save the economy, truck driving is essential to the economy of this nation. We are the black backbone and we are the heartbeat of this nation. When truckers stop moving, this nation will die. Oh. A big picture so yeah we need to throw some relief at, at the truck drivers owner operators owner operators need to be, have some relief right now so that we don't lose the infrastructure of our nation company drivers ought to be compensated a little bit as well for the hardship and those that, that have been put out because of this pandemic but we all need a little relief and we all need a little relief so that we can keep the blood moving through the heartbeat of this nation. So, so don't get sideways and, and think that, that I've uh, bailed or that uh, uh, I'm no longer part of, man, I'm just not a part of the infrastructure that, that's actually doing it. Do I support what you're doing? 100%. Am I by, behind you? 100%. But I'm just one man, and I can only do so many things at one time. The other day, I went 36 hours without any sleep, and still got up and ran eight hours, and was running when the sun came up the next day, because I got a job to do as well as to do all these things. We all know what that's like. I, I love each and every one of you, and I want you to win. But I'm going to tell you right now, we better stand together. And get behind this one voice and push that. It's got the momentum. It's got the direction. It's gotten the foot in the door. Just shove it on through the door. 
It'll benefit all of us. It'll benefit all of us. Quit worrying about your individual egos and who gets credit for this and who does that and who's in the limelight. I don't give a rat's ass. I want the solution. I want the cause and effect at the end of it. And I don't care how you get it. You need some relief for the, for these small fleets. You need relief for these individual owner operators. You gotta keep the blood moving through the veins and arteries of this nation. Anyway, that that's my point and what I'm saying. TST 150. That's what you need to support. That's where you all need to come together. You ought to let Spectre be the voice because he's got an ability of a passion and he's got the emotional drive and uh, that's what, what's going to motivate people for, uh, for getting what you want to get done. Uh, w each one of you can credit different ways of, of how you participate or what you do. But stand behind that one voice. Stand behind that one voice. Uh, that's all. I, I don't care if you like them or if you don't. Uh, I really don't give a rat's ass. But you better stand behind this one voice. Because if you all start going all different directions, uh, there's nobody going to be there to push that one voice through that door. That, that's my point. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. I, I should be asleep right now. Five hours from now, I got to be running. And I should be sleeping. And instead, I'm addressing this. Now, I didn't bail out on your cause. I just said I don't have time to work on the organization and the infrastructure when I got so many other things going on right now. Will I speak for you? You bet I will. Will I stand behind you? I will. I told you I 100% back you and you got my full support. One day I'll have an organization behind me that when I says that when I say something like that, uh, it'll mean something. One day. That's not today. Uh, I'm still uh, trying to frame it up. I'm still driving nails in, in the framing, man. I haven't even got the siding, siding in the roof on it yet. I'll get there. But let's all get behind this one voice. And let's push it through that door. And let's get some relief. And let's not only save trekking, but by doing so, let's save our nation. Anyway, that's my message for the night. God bless each and every one of you. You know, you could uh, change the world. You can start by being nice to each other. Good night, everybody.